Hi everyone, Jenna Citrus here. Uh, today I'm going to be going through some of my artworks that you may or may not have seen. Uh, these are all paintings or images that I've taken that are wet with paint. So when I take my photographs, well, okay, one coming up here makes me feel like a liar because it's a piece of digital art. Okay, one, two, three. This one is all digital. I, I drew it in a um, program that I don't remember the name of. But anyways, that's a picture of my hand with glitter on it. Uh, most of my work has wet paint on it, and then I use digital manipulation, except that one that I actually used a knife. So that one's a real art piece. I'm pretty impressed about that one. But they're photographs of wet paint, and that's a hand, and I love looking at the way paint interacts and reacts with different things. And I am running a print sale this week, 15% off all prints. There's a link to my Etsy shop below, right there, and that's actually a self-portrait. And this guy is a lamp that I made using um, the Cricut Cutter Outer. And these two pieces coming up are two of my most, I will call them famous with quotation artworks, but uh, that piece and this one that's coming very soon um, are two of them that have been like the most popular and people keep uh, getting prints of them. So yay, yay art. Uh, ah. <laughs> And then these are made with PPO paints. They're really highly reflective, metallic, shiny, awesome paint. I actually have that painting still in stock. It's an 11 by 14 on wood, some other people's hands. And then these are some flowers that I've painted into a painting. I love working with the natural world and of course people. So being able to integrate nature and colors and brightness and happiness and all those things all at the same time. Well, that one's just my hand. That's kind of boring. Lame photo, Jenna. <laughs> But that's one of my favorites right there. I've actually got that one in my bedroom as a 16 by 20. It looks very good framed in white. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. That's baby's breath. And I'm really excited because this year I've started my own um, indoor greenhouse garden. So I've actually got some baby's breath growing and a couple other different types of bulbs. So I'll be able to use these images in photo shoots and then uh, paint my flowers like you've been seeing here. I also work with people a lot, but that's not in this little showcase of images we're looking through right here. This is one of my first, uh, I guess 2014 images where I worked with spray paint and flower and um, I wanna say like glue or, I don't know, it was really nasty, <laughs> but it, looked, it ended up looking really beautiful and it was a fun piece that I got pictures of and then I threw it away because I'm like, should I put this in the oven? How do I cure flour? I don't even know right now. <laughs> but oh, oil, yeah, oil and glue. I think those were the other things I worked with. But I work with water a lot and my hands. <laughs> that was spray paint, it didn't come off super easy. And that's a toilet. I've got a toilet in the woods, I painted it. So if you want a picture of a toilet in your house, I already have one. <laughs> I love taking pictures of like the natural world and like colors. That's, uh, I just love focusing on colors and psychedelics and beautiful things. And there's a tree. Getting back to that natural world again. Oh, and this is part of the hand painting series, which I do have a book about. It's on Amazon. So if you feel like checking out a book that, I don't know how many pages it is. It is, I want to say it's like maybe 40 pages. I don't know. That's a random guess but it's got a lot of these pictures in it and it kind of explains how I created these. And I do still make hand paintings and apparently I need to do that soon because they're super fun and I just sold several of them on eBay. So, hey, here's to selling paintings on eBay. I do have some links to those. Oh, that's Cadillac Ranch out in uh, Arm Armadillo, Texas. Hee hee hee. They're all gonna kill me now that they've heard me say that. <laughs> Ooh, that was fun. I actually painted a censored content word here that was all the paint dripping off. Yes, I also work with dead animals sometimes. Not, I mostly just take pictures of dead animals and don't necessarily paint them, but, and I make sure they're dead first. I don't kill them because that would be sad. <laughs> um, that, this one I actually just saw in a client's house. Oh, these, oh, these look great as tapestries. I've blown them up super big. Oh, there's me with a painting. Yay, painting. Uh, but I've done some the, the orange one was a digital self-portrait, so that took a long time and I really loved and enjoyed making it. And I love to keep, I know I just said, I love paint, I love paint, I love paint. <laughs> yes, that's me, I, I like all this stuff. Oh, look at that one, just like the blue explosion. It looks like the ocean. Oh yeah, there's me. Um, I did take some of these works 
and make them digitally into a show that was in the Evansville, ugh, Evansville, ugh, I can't talk, I lived in Kentucky, damn it, <laughs> museum, and I projected them on the dome. I think it was the Digistar 5000. They have one of those, um, like, planet Terry astrodomes that you project stuff on and it looks cool. They use them for um, videos. Yeah, words and stuff. Painted flowers! <laughs> <laughs> but I am having a print sale this week and also prints are available when they're not on sale. <laughs> so if you ever see a print that you'd like, just message me and I can get it printed for you. I have I own the copyright to all of these photos because they're mine and I took them and I like to make art. Oh, there's the other uh, self-portrait I did with a lot of digital things and I want to keep making some like those. There's back to the one that was the really famous -y one I was talking about at the beginning. I love that one. I've never done anything with it though. Just like, it's, I think it was actually a limousine lights that I played with in Photoshop pretty hard. Oh yeah, I painted on trees. Ah. Oh. Well, I cut out a tree. Oh my god, that one just had too many layers to even talk about on it. <laughs> so, thank you so much for joining me and taking a look through my artwork. I do have, uh, I think the number is 1800 of these photos that I pulled from on patreon.com slash genesitrisart and check out my artwork there and see what it is that I do and why I do it. And I just remodeled a studio house, so I've got to go make some art in there. So, fingers crossed. Oh, that's the ocean. And I'll see you soon on the rest of the internet. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy. And now there's two more pictures. Hey, that's a person. What are you doing in here? And paint! Yay!